which direction would you like to go first? Well, I don't know. How about the forward direction? So we're going to assume what, what, what is the forward direction? What's the hypothesis? We're assuming that k is compact in y. That means given any cover of this red set by yellow sets, I can find a finite subcover by yellow sets. With me? That's what I'm allowed to use if I need it. But that's a different question than asking, how should I start this proof? I want to show what is compact in where. Good. So I should start with a open cover of K in X. Okay. It's very tempting, I know, to start with an open cover of K in Y, but that's not where I need to start this proof. You want to show that K is compact in X, you've got to start with an open cover in X. Does everybody get this, this point? I can use the fact that at some point, if I have yellow sets, that I can take a finite subcover. But I'm trying to show that when you start with an open cover by purple sets, that there's a finite subcover. OK, good. Here we go. So let's start with, uh, suppose we're going uh, to assume that k is compact in y. This is sort of in the background. Okay, I probably didn't even need to say it. I just wanted to remind ourselves, uh, as we need it, we're going to use this fact. But the place to start the proof, so you should start with, uh, so, um, okay, this is not really part of the proof, but this is just to highlight, this is not the place that sometimes you're tempted to start, but this is the, what you're being asked. We're going to start with what? Consider a an open cover of k in x. So let's give it a name. Consider, let's say, an open cover. Uh, u is often used for an open set. u sub alpha uh, of k in x. This is an open cover in x. u here are purple sets, like that picture up there. Okay, and alpha just means arbitrary open collection. I'm not bothering to write the index set, but could be possibly uncountable collection. Okay, I have an open cover of K by a bunch of purple sets. Help. I want to show that the purple sets have a finite subcover. How am I going to do that? is that if you have yellow sets, you can find a finite subcover by yellow sets. <laughs> Help. Okay. Now, does everybody agree with that? That it may be a natural thing to do is to take all these purple sets and look at their restriction to Y. Those would be the equivalent of yellow sets. Yes? Now what should I do with those yellow sets? Take a finite subcover because we know k is compact where? In y. Good. Now I have those yellow sets. What do I do with them? I, I have finitely many yellow sets. And I want purple sets. Good. There's G's that complete the yellow sets. That is, that there's this correspondence. Everybody happy with that? So we'll just write that down. Consider an open cover uh, by U sub alpha of K in X. And let's let V sub alpha be U sub alpha intersect Y. And now you're just going to tell the reader then V sub alpha cover uh, are an open cover. Um, I'll just write this for shorthand. V sub alpha cover uh, what? K in Y. All covers are open covers that what we're going to refer to, so I'm not going to write that down. But yes, Willie.
Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. 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 K is con is con is contained in Y. Thank you. It is a subset of of both Y and X. Right. Otherwise, it wouldn't even make sense to talk about K being compact in Y, um, because it should be a subset of Y before you even talk about compactness. Yeah. Thanks for clarifying. Okay. Good. The V L V sub alpha cover K. Is that clear that they cover K? Yeah. Because they, because. Uh, K was in Y, and that I see why Willie was concerned here. This is the point at which you need to, to recognize it. Mm -hmm. Right. That's right. Okay. Very good. Oh, okay. So there exists a, so probably should tell the readers, is by compactness of K in Y, there exists a finite subcover which uh, we will we can denote uh, v sub alpha one through v sub alpha n. Nice. So we're just turning our intuition into a proof. So now help me uh, finish this statement, uh, this proof. What's the fine? What's the finite subcover that you are expecting uh, to use now? That's purple. Remember, these are okay, V, well, these are the V's. Okay. So, so then what? We should go back to the original what? U's. Which U's? The ones that are indexed by the alpha 1 through alpha n. Okay. So then. Uh, then the claim is that uh, the u sub alpha 1 through u sub alpha n cover a k in x. That finishes the forward direction, doesn't it? As desired. Oh, and of course, maybe you should remind the reader that these are a finite cover finite cover of k in x as desired, okay? Finite subcover, a subcover of the original cover, okay? That's important, right? You, you want the, your, your uh, uh, resulting sets to always be a sub collection of the original collection, okay? That's the forward direction, assuming compactness in Y, we showed compactness in X. How about the reverse direction? We're going to assume compactness in X, show compactness in Y, so I should start with what kind of sets? What kind of cover? Cover of K in Y. Very good. I won't redo this whole argument, but um, just to remind you that here we're going to consider the starting point is consider an arbitrary open cover of K. I'll give it a name. Um, oh, let's start with V's. That's convenient. V sub alpha of K in Y. And now we want to show there is a finite subcover. Okay, let's talk through this argument. It's very similar. I won't write it all down, but let's just talk through it. I start with a bunch of yellow sets covering K and Y. I want to find a finite subcover. So let me hear from someone I haven't heard from yet. What should I do? Bunch of yellow sets. Katie? Excellent. Bye. This theorem. Okay, good. Excellent. Good. So you're saying every every element of the cover corresponds to a, a bigger purple set that's in open in the bigger space X. That's an open cover. It has a finite subcover. And now restrict to get yellow sets, and that's a finite subcover, the original collection. Everybody happy 